What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Now this week we have a bunch of new events starting with the fishing event. You can now fish at the designated area to get 500,000 silver koi fish and 1 million silver perch. Though you may want to be careful where exactly you are fishing in that area as friendly players will be looking to say hello. Distortion earrings are being added as possible loot to Dark Rift boxes for the next two weeks so we may see a market price decrease because of it which will hurt those already grinding stars and so keep that in mind. The rumored life skill event buff was true though you only get 100% life skill XP buff up to Artisan 1 only. It will not affect leveling after that. This will be a permanent addition to all Olvia servers even after the event is over, which should last two weeks. Mystical Ellie's Festival is back for two weeks along with the dailies and furniture item you can get if you missed out last time. There is a Flying Donkey event for one week only that will reward you with Life XP scrolls and Loot Scrolls and a Donkey Mount skin for coming in the top three. Now those of us that completed dice game rounds before the revamp last month will be getting a little something extra for our efforts as a thank you from the developers. You can get two gold bar boxes, arcana of fate boxes, adventure boxes, and some fine accessory boxes for having completed 50 or more rounds before the revamp. Everyone should also receive an Arcana of Fate box as well as a thank you, even if you didn't manage to complete that many rounds before the revamp. All the class PvE buffs I went over two weeks ago are now live on our regions. You can check out my Global Labs video to see a rundown of every buff for every class, but if you're interested in knowing the classes that got buffed, well it was Ranger, Tamer, Musa, Kunoichi, Mystic, and Dark Knight all receiving some pretty nice PvE buffs. The Vessel of Inquisition was added to Star's End and some monster locations were moved around in that area. This vessel acts much the same way as the Trader's Graveyard mechanic. You will hit the vessel once to start a constant wave of monsters swarming the vessel. These are stronger than the normal Star's End mobs so be careful. And as for the Pearl Shop deals, nothing incredible in my opinion but there are some daily loyalty bundles you can grab that give some Cronstones, some loot scrolls and other goodies for 300 loyalty every day. In an unrelated patch notes news, we now have the brackets for the Arsha tournament in NA and EU, so make sure to see if your favorite player or friends manage to get a buy right off the bat and who they will be facing in the first rounds this week. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. What do you guys think about the life skill event? Will you be trying out the Vessel of Inquisition and Star's End? Let me know in the comments or over on our community Discord. We're now public and accepting new members, so follow the link and join the community. It's the best way to get in touch with me if I'm honest, and we have some giveaways planned in the near future, so you can check out the Discord for that as well. The Global Ads video for tomorrow may be delayed a bit since it's my birthday tomorrow, so that should come out Friday instead of Thursday. And thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.